Now on to our special guest on the program, Kalpit Avirwal will go down in history as the first person to land a perfect score in the much coveted joint entrance examination made to qualify for the prestigious IITs and other top engineering institutes in India. He's 17 years old, he's from uh, Udaipur in Rajasthan and topped the exam with a 100% score of 360 on 360. Well, I spoke uh, to Kalpit a short while back, and besides, of course, uh, offering him our many, many congratulations, uh, began by asking him if it had uh, sunk in and if he had ever dreamt that this is why he would be making headlines one day. Thank you so much, ma'am. Uh, yeah, uh, like I believed that I would score a good score, but I did not like even think, thought about it in a dream that I would score full marks in this examination of such a high level of competence. So I'm really happy about it. Right. Uh, I also asked him, you know, a genius they say is 99% uh, perspiration, just 1% inspiration. Uh, uh, how much effort really went into this uh, terrific feat of yours? Somewhere I read that you said that you only studied for five, six hours a day, but that doesn't sound right. Yeah, lots of hard work. Like, I've been working really hard for four or five years of my life, and uh, today they, it has really paid off, so I'm feeling very happy about it. Um. Right, and uh, also, of course, the focus on preparations and when he started uh, preparing. Also, uh, when was it decided that this is what you wanted to do with your life? You know, that engineering, one of India's most sought after careers. Uh, actually, uh, like I was not interested, means I was interested in learning science and uh, I was interested in learning, like gaining more and more knowledge and I did not specifically prepare for JE. So uh, after having all this knowledge, I automatically obtained a good score in JE and uh, uh, as of my dream in life, I haven't really decided upon that and uh, I will decide uh, after some time, after my advanced exam is over. Okay, the focus clearly still firmly for him is uh, the examinations, this, the advance still to go. But if this is any indication, there's of course only uh, good news there ahead for Culpit. But uh, I also asked him where he would like to see himself in say a decade or 15, 20 years from now. Are there any companies in particular that uh, he would like to work for? Uh, actually, uh, I want. Uh, uh, okay, it's too early to say this, but uh, I don't want to work in a company. I would rather like to start one of my own, and uh, that is what I want to do in future. Like something like that, not a uh, like classic job. Oh, that's terrific to hear. You really want to be an entrepreneur. I mean, India is the world's third largest uh, startup economy, not for nothing. And fantastic to know that uh, toppers like yourself are also keen on creating a company of your own, perhaps the next big idea, the next big disruptor, who knows, just could be yours. Now, your father is a nurse. Your mother is a teacher. We've seen the images through the day just looking so proud. I mean, I can just imagine how delighted they must be at your success. What have the last few years been like? I imagine that there have been sacrifices all around. Yeah, they have made a lot of sacrifices. Like uh, whenever I had to study and uh, there was a social event, they did not attend it so that I could study well. And uh, father has really been uh, like, he used to drop me to my coaching center. And mom has also made many sacrifices and they have really been very nice parents to me. I think that's very true of all uh, Indian families, the premium that we place on education and how sort of life almost comes to a standstill in so many homes around exams, especially such key ones. Now, you know, uh, the IITs uh, and uh, training institutions in places like uh, Kota have been in focus for their stupendous results. Just, you know, toppers many years, a year on year, in fact, coming from them. But there's also been talk about pressure on students, those who can't cope. Now, what would you say to all of them who find themselves in these engineering institutions but then want out? Yes, ma'am. Ma actually, it is because the like uh, many parents also force their students into this field, and as a result of that, many students take pressure. Uh, rather, I feel that we should not take stress about studies. We, do, we should rather uh, enjoy our studies rather than taking it as a burden. I never used to aim for getting high scores in my tests or in my examination. Rather, I focus more on gaining knowledge. So I think students should not take much stress of studies. They should do what they want to do rather than just following the uh, what others are doing.
think what you said right in the beginning is just spot on. Uh, there should just be no pressure. You know, let the students do what they want. But it is, I know, far easier said than done. Now, uh, how much of the success is because, Kalpit, you were a boy who was all about work and, and no play. Was it really like that? Did you have any free time? Were you able to go out? Uh, how did you sort of de-stress or unwind? Not exactly. Like uh, I was uh, having a very good time management, so I used to like every day. I used to play cricket. Almost every day, I used to play cricket half an hour, and uh, I also like used to surf the net and listen to music. So it was not like all work and no play. That's great to know. India, of course, uh, loves those who succeed academically. Big focus in recent years has been on what about the majority who don't perhaps uh, top. But this is not the moment to ask you that. But uh, last question. India is producing more engineers than any other country. Uh, you know, in focus uh, in, in recent weeks and months have been talk on uh, data on just these engineers not finding uh, the right jobs, joblessness. Is this any concern for you right now or is this, is this am I asking this, this question too soon? Uh, I don't get affected by it. I rather study, uh, focus on my studies and uh, do not. I think that's the thing about you, Kalpit, that you just stay focused on uh, your dreams and what you want to achieve. Uh, you know, you really have a good attitude, uh, manage to unwind, spend a lot of time on the internet and playing cricket. Well, many, many congratulations. And to all of you out there, aspiring engineers or aspiring, whatever it is that you want to be, just keep that advice in mind. Do what you want to do. Don't feel the pressure. Easier said than done, I know, but uh, try it. Who knows? It just might work. Well, that's it then on Left, Right and Center.